In this example, we'll see how to augment or add a global equation to a PDE. We'll use accumulation of heat to demonstrate this. Here you see the heat equation, and we'll calculate the solution across a time interval from 0 to 100. We'll have cooling at the ends using a Dirichlet condition, and we'll have a heat source in the center region of the geometry you see here. Now in order to calculate the total accumulated heat, we'll need to calculate the total heat at any point in time using a volume integral. Then we'll integrate this value across the entire time domain. And that's equivalent to solving the ODE that you see at the end here, dw dt equals u. In order to implement this in COMSOL, we'll take two steps. The first step is to define a volume integration operator. This operator makes calculating the volume integral for t a simple function call, and will actually work for any function that's defined on my geometry. The second step is to add a global equation for the time integration. Note that the variable's name is w, so the syntax wt is equal to dw dt. This means that when the expression is set equal to zero, we have the ODE we want. Now let's see COMSOL in action. I'll begin with the coefficient form PDE, and you can see the equation here. The coefficients indicate that this will reduce to the heat equation with a thermal conductivity of one. There's no source term yet, but we'll change that momentarily. A mass coefficient of one makes this a transient problem. Now let's have a look at the cooling condition. That's the Dirichlet boundary condition where I fix the value of t equal to zero at the two ends. In order to add the source term, I will add a coefficient form PDE and then select just that center region. Now having a look at the coefficients, you'll note that they're all the same except for the source term, F, which is now equal to one. This activates the heat source in that region. Now my PDE is complete, and I want to add an equation that will calculate for the total accumulated heat. To do this, I need to set up a volume integration operator, so I go under Model Couplings, Integration, and then select all my domains. Now I have an operator called intop1 that will calculate the volume integral of any function. Now on my PDE, I want to set up an extra equation, a global equation, the name of the variable will be w, and my expression will be wt minus int op1 of t. Remember, wt is just the time derivative of w. This is now my ODE. Now if I have a look at my solver, I can see that I will solve from 0 to 100. And it solves very quickly. COMSOL now produces a plot of the temperature at the end time, and I'll alter it a little bit by removing the color legend. And now you can see that the solution makes sense where the ends are cool and where the heat source is gets hot. I'll also add a little player here so we can see an animation of the time evolution of the temperature. Let's also add a 1D plot of the accumulated heat as a function of time. I do that by adding a 1D plot group, choosing global, and then adding the state variable w. That's the solution to the ODE we added to our PDE. So now I plot out w as a function of time, and you can see it rise. I'll expand the plot. And that completes my simulation. Now you have an example of adding a global equation to a PDE.